Am I stuck with this 7% mortgage rate? I get asked this question all the time by people in the home buying process. They say, wow, these rates are way higher than they were a few years ago. And I'm giving up a 3% rate on the house I'm selling. And now I'm going to have to buy this house. Am I stuck at 7%? The answer is no, you're not stuck. That's the good news. This mortgage that you're applying for and closing on right now is always going to be at this rate. If you do a 30, 20, or 15 year fixed mortgage, the rate will never change during that period. However, you're not required to keep that mortgage for as long as you're in your house. You can do something we call a refinance. When you refinance your home, you're getting a new debt to pay off the old debt that you used to purchase your home. Very simple, it's an easy process, and it's really the same process you went through when you bought your house, except you don't have to use the contracts and you don't have to pay some of the closing costs and you don't have a seller to consider. You already own the house. So really all you're doing is getting a new debt at a lower interest rate to replace the old debt. It's really an easy process and you start that process as you see interest rates coming down. Most people in the mortgage industry, as of the recording of this video, think that rates are gonna come down over the next one to two years. So most people are treating the current mortgage that they're doing as a short term or temporary finance. They're saying, hey, we believe that interest rates are gonna come back down as the economy continues to be strong and we'll have a chance to get a lower rate on the same house that we already own. We do these refinances all the time for our clients. In fact, at Weber Mortgage, we're very proactive in watching mortgage rates for you. We're actually going to monitor the rates for your situation. And once we see interest rates get down to a level where it makes sense for you to refinance, we'll reach out to you. Now, how are you going to know when it's the right time to refinance? Well, it's really simple. There's two or three factors that you have to consider. The number one factor is how long are you going to stay in your home? Sometimes that's a simple answer. Hey, Michael, I'm going to live here till I die. Sometimes it's more complicated. Well, I'm up for a promotion, and if I take this promotion, they may move me out of state, and I may have to move to another home. So it's a conversation that you need to have with a qualified mortgage professional anytime you're considering refinancing. It doesn't always make sense to refinance, believe it or not. If you're going to be in your house for a shorter period of time, for instance, hey, I'm here, but a year from now, I expect to move back home, or we're going to sell this house because it's not in the school system that we want to be in and our oldest child will be five in two years and so then we're going to move into a different school system it's important to have that conversation and think through those factors because there are going to be some closing costs when you refinance your home and adding those closing costs normally can be rolled right into the new mortgage. So you probably won't have to come out of pocket any money, but they still get added to the balance of your loan. And that means it's pushing your loan amount back a little bit higher than what you've already paid down. It's important that you understand if I'm going to add 3000 or $4,000 back to the balance of my loan, am I going to save enough money in the amount of time that I'm going to be in this house that makes it worth doing? So for a lot of people, when we have that conversation, they actually come to the conclusion that it doesn't make sense for them to refinance. But the rule of thumb that I get asked about all the time is, Michael, when does it make sense to refinance? Well, if you're planning on being in your home for a while, and by a while, I typically define that as five or more years, then it almost always makes sense to refinance if the new mortgage rates, the current rates, are 1% below the current mortgage rate that you have. So if you purchased your home and took a 7% rate, once rates get down to 6%, if you have at least five years remaining in your house, then it definitely makes sense for you to pull the trigger on that refinance. Again, as when purchasing a home, it's important you work with a reputable mortgage company that's gonna take great care of you. At Weber Mortgage, we've been doing this since 1999. We're really good at helping clients identify when it makes sense to refinance and then helping them get through the refinance process as smoothly and as quickly as possible. So if you have any questions at all about refinancing, if you're just not sure if it makes sense, 
If you want somebody else watching for the right opportunity for you to refinance, there's a simple process. Just pick up the phone and have an initial conversation with Weber Mortgage and we will guide you through when is the right time and how easy can we make it to do the process. Refinances are not complicated. You just need to be with the right mortgage company. At Weber Mortgage, we believe that's us. Weber Mortgage, we are a family in the business of helping families.